Welcome, 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 a lot of welcomes, welcome, welcome back, let me just sit down real quick before I begin, I hope you guys didn't wait for too long, here we go, here we go, yes, let's sit down right here, Calmly, calmly and professionally. I think that's literally the 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 um what should I say? The the theme of today's stream, everybody. Professionally, calmly, with all its professionalism. Welcome back to Space Zero One. So wait a second. <clears throat> okay, now welcome back on board a very special plane. I made a video about this plane uh, a few hours ago. I published it. Of course, everybody, we're talking the bombardment. <laughs> Hello, Trita One. How's it going, Trita One? What's it got? What you got to say? We've got a challenger 300 here. and donated two euros. Hi, I am a trainee VAT sim controller. Good, good for you. Um, but yeah, we uh, thank you, Trita One. <laughs> yeah, welcome back, Trita One. I don't know what to say. Uh, but yeah, we are on board the Bombard. I've just met, I've just noticed the, ch the spelling in the title. The thing is, though, I'm not going to change it now. Let's not talk about the. Uh, spelling, indeed. Uh, welcome back to Swiss Air One. This is all very professional. We are on board, of course, again. This Bombardier Challenger 300, uh, 650, which we're just going to forget about. Challenger. I don't know why it says Canada on it. It just says Canada on it. Literally, I mean, I paid $120 for this add on. I, this is one thing I wanted to add right here. If you guys haven't watched, you guys, first of all, if you guys haven't watched the video, um, well, yeah, well, anyway, we'll see about that. First of all, we've got three liveries included for, for this interesting private jet. Literally, Scarlet Lion. What does that mean? We've got uh, the Grey Goose. We've got the Canadian Forces. Again, which I think is the most nice looking livery, of course, here with this little black kind of color. It's quite good. I like it. Uh, but yeah, everybody, if you have missed the video that I made about this plane, this is the most realistic add-on plane you will ever have seen or will ever... Like, it, it, does it get more realistic as an add-on or anything like that? I mean, we can literally, I mean, st like, we can go, go to, like, random, like, uh, a GPS unit. All right, it doesn't receive any GPS, of course, but it's just crazy what systems actually are simulated. All, apparently, all systems that actually happen in the cockpit of the uh, Bombardier Challenger 650, um, you know, all of those are simulated here as well. Environmental. Uh, INS, so RISS, uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, AFCS, what, did, what does that do? I have no idea. It won't even work right now because, of course, our plane is still turned off. It's just ridiculous how well realistic this airplane is. We've got this Navi tap here, by the way. Just want to. Wait, let me just let me just actually get rid of this um, uh, shade X, which does the blurring thing, which I like to do for the thumbnails and stuff. Anyway, what is this right here? Uh, routes. Oh, departure airport code. Let's not. Let's not use this. I've never properly used this iPad here in the flight simulator. Does the charts even work? Oh, it doesn't even. Okay, I don't have any downloaded. I guess. Ah, uh, help. Go on. Go back. Right, anyway, let's go ahead and actually try to turn on this plane first of all. Let's not waste too much time. Um, and, you know, I've done this in the video already that I posted about this plane. Uh, it should be fairly simple. I hope you guys... Can we hear anything? Ah, now we can hear stuff. Yes. Good. So, boost pump. Uh, turn everything on right here. It doesn't really matter. Now we need the APU to start up. Again, very professional plane. Um, as in, I think, then if I press a wrong button, a wrong switch, then this is probably gonna just fall apart. This plane. I don't really know how this works. Hello! Oh, we've got a long one. Alright, player president, what you got to say? Player president donated $2.27. Leiden Schaft Fliegen Mal Enders. Niklas Schmidt aus Dreisch Postet Videos im Flug Simulator, Eric Eine Halbe Million Follower auf YouTube. Arist Quasi Virtual Pilot und das Gerade mit 17 Jahren. Swiss. Ich mag alles was mit left fart suit on hat. Was this like, uh, like a, like a, 
I think that what this was from national TV, I think. Uh, yeah, welcome back to the Zero Plane. Let's turn on the APU generator and that would nicely turn on the systems of the Zero Plane. Yes. We're nice. Low position accuracy, everybody. And this is what I mean by extreme realism. Like, it does this kind of stuff. And I don't even understand cause this because I'm not at all any in any way certified to fly this, fly this plane. I think the, the only way I could fly this plane if, is if I were on board a Bombardier Challenger 650 and the pilots all just died for some reason. And then I had to bring the plane to the... To the ground uh, with a hard landing probably as well but that's like the only way i would ever sit at the controls of this airplane like this is not ever this is not any anything close to what i'm uh, trained to do anything good welcome back to this one let's turn on the apu bleed and get everything ready here for the engine start you know what we're not wasting time you know we don't we're not wasting time here so let's go ahead and start the engine can we do that how does this even work? I have zero idea how this plane works. So why, why doesn't it work? Come on, on? Yes? Work! Turn on. Ignition. Ignition! Start! Yeah, welcome back to us as one. This is exactly what I mean. Uh, what have I done not right? Have I turned on... Hmm, what is missing? Oh, I've just noticed. I should pr probably close the passenger door. Hmm, good point. I think you got actually, that's like the thing. I think you actually cannot re actually start um, this aeroplane without having the passenger doors um, closed. So I'm going to do that here, here. The thing is, right, you don't have in this plane, in this plane here, in this add-on plane, you actually don't have a button or anything to uh, close the door. Or anything like no command or anything like that literally all you have is your mouse and you literally have to pull it's, it's like proper work you have to do in order to get this damn door closed which is like you know this plane is so realistic to the point that it's just annoying all right how do i close this properly ah no don't open it again yes here we go let's close this here this way good i think it's closed now is it closed yeah, it should, should do the job quite well. Yeah, welcome back on board Swiss Air One Airline. Something I'm a little bit you know, disappointed by with this aeroplane, by the way, just to add something here. Welcome back to Luxury Zero Zero One. We're uh, always disappointed or something like that. No, seriously, what we, what we don't have here is, um, what's this? Uh, seat. No, we don't have like proper ways to interact with the cabin. For example, in the Challenger 300 that are, that there is for the X-Plane Flight Simulator, you guys might just know. In the X-Plane Flight Simulator, uh, you can interact. You can actually, there can pl start playing music, like classical music, because why the hell not? And, um... Uh, well, classical music, and you can pull up the tables. Not nothing can be done here. That's like the most disappointing part. Like I want to sit in the cabin and just have the plane fly itself. I mean, what what is autopilot for? All right, anyway, let's go ahead and turn on the plane. Can we do that, please? Uh, is the APU? Let's oh, let's open the AP. Let's open the blades of the aeroplane. Do we have to do that? Bleed air. This way now. Why? How? Why cannot I start this damn plane? So wait, isolation valve. Probably turn that off. Start on, you stupid plane! That's good. Hmm. You need to, oh, you need to hold down the starter knob. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Oh my god, you need to press... Oh my god, you need to hold it down. I literally did nothing wrong here except I... Welcome back. Oh no, we've got another one. Alright, what now? Player Prison donated $2.27. 2500100. Five zero zero four zero zero three zero zero two zero zero one zero zero sixty fifty forty thirty twenty ten retard 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 drive. Um, you know what? I started giving like ratings for donations uh yesterday and so what would i what, what rating would i give this one probably not a good one at all but that's great all right our engines are actually half turned on now i just wanted to mention that we'll come back on board our beautiful plane all the beautiful lights of this aeroplane are turned on that's perfect and let's not talk about the title still challenger 
Schalgenger. Let's turn off the APU after we have, well, turned on the generators. Here we go. Turn off the APU. Yes. That will work nicely. Let's, what is ACDC utility? Isn't that like a band? <laughs> Lol. All right. What have I done wrong? Why is the anti-icing not working like it's supposed to? I have turned it on, so I don't get it. Ah, there you go. Now it's turned on. Never mind. Welcome back to us. You want to turn on the yaw damper. Yaw damper. Should be turned on. Yes. Anti-icing still isn't turned on. You stupid. I don't care. All right. Turn on the bleed air. Perfect. Good. And there we go. That nicely works now with the anti-icing. Now, we still have to wait a little bit for the inertial navigation system, or actually inertial uh, reference system, that's what it's called, to align itself. Until then, I think we can work here with the, how do I do this? Just performance and industrialization. I'm a little bit stupid here. I think, uh, I think, yeah, yeah, I think most of you guys, yeah, you guys are probably aware of that. All right, great, let's head that out of the position. Does that work? Come on, welcome back to Zero One. Come on, can we do this professionally? We need for more speed here. We need to move on. I want to fly this plane. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Great. By the way, have I told you about where we are? Of course, we are in the south of France, a beautiful place. And uh, well, we're gonna head to some other place. Don't know where. We'll, we'll decide on that. What's up, Spice? Uh, but yeah, this is the south of France. Very beautiful, very beautiful private jet airport. I, you know, when I made the video about this plane, I also flew to this place. So it's good. It's good. Professionally flying planes with this one. All right, everything here is good. Um, I still need to wait for this damn thing to align itself. Come on. I like how there's literal pixels animated here on the screens as well with the moray effect and everything. I've, I've, I've set this in a video. You might not be able to see it properly here in the video, but there's literal pixels. Which is like actually so realistic because like that's something, that, something I found very interesting about, you know, these, these flight simulators. It never really looks like the screens really do look in real life. They don't have 4K retina screen or anything. You know, I mean, this is the, the this resolution is enough, but this is probably 720p, maybe lower than that. Um, so yeah, come on plane. Just align yourself find yourself You know what? This is actually quite a bit of a metaphor from our life Oh finding yourself and and not doing that properly by the way Why is this not working? What is this ATS it just says fail? I remember I'm confusion by the way. Have we checked have I told you guys anything about you know the resolution here? The clarity of, of everything, of all the textures. My god, this cockpit is so beautiful. Look at this. You can literally get so close and this, this is absolutely beautiful. I also like this screen here. It says fail. Failure! Talking about failure, Jesus Christ. Why is this thing not starting up? Come on! Yeah, this is always a thing. I mean, it always takes a, a bit of a while for these systems to properly oil up. So what's up, HRZ? Donated ten dollars. How's it going, my guy? The pro pilot. Yes, or not? You know what? I didn't, I didn't, the startup, the start operation here was actually quite pro, right? You guys are always complaining. I'm just wondering for this thing to line itself. You know, this like a thing for in order for it to like it doesn't really it, it does have GPS, but in order for the reference system to work, in order to find itself on the GPS, it does take a few minutes. Right here, it says it right here. IRS three aligning. I've set it down here. This is the uh, aligner, aligner thing. This is the something like that. I don't even know. I don't even care. Let's start on the lights here. We've got some lights here. Ooh, look at that. Cabin panel. Don't know what that does. You know, that's like the thing. It's like most piles in real life do that as well. Just find new switches and play around with them. Floor. Floor? Is there like floor light? Hmm. Great. Plane, just align yourself. Jesus Christ, it's still working. Like, I'm just trying to... <sighs> Uh oh, we've got a very long donation now. What's what now? Player Prison donated two dollars and twenty seven cents. Hmm. What a what a great donation right here. Thank you, thank you for that donation. Uh, damn. You know, there's like a point where where, where the um. Text-to-speech voice has turned into literal 
hi-hat of a drum set. Oh, damn, look at this. We have our, our emergency mask, our oxygen mask. We can... No way. <gasps> no! No, 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 no. No! Oh, no. We're gonna, we're gonna experiment around with that later on. You guys, we might just want to try some emergencies, like emergency, like, depressurization kind of shit, uh, stuff. <gasps> no way! Wait, I haven't even seen that! No! No! We can literally... No! Oh, look at this! The circuit breakers, they literally work! Liatu RFS donated 5 euros. Sub At this point, this add-on is more realistic than in real oh life. Oh my man. god! Anyways, here's 5 euros to help your $120 <laughs> add-on debt. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, thank, thank you for helping me along there. But Jesus Christ, they all work! All the circuit breakers! No. No! We can literally turn things off! This is so fun. So, uh, what do we got? We got emergency locator transmitter. Jesus Christ, it actually works! We can press it! I haven't noticed that! Boaz Kriverot donated five Canadian Hello. dollars. How's it going? Hey, Swiss. Guy. If you want, you can fly to Albia Sardinia, which is 40 minutes away, or Corsica, or north of Italy. Corsica, that would be a very Napoleon thing to do. Thank you for that suggestion. Oh my god. No way. Hydraulic pump. We can turn things off. We can turn things off. By the way, when are you finally aligning yourself, you stupid airplane? Yeah. Come on. I'm starting to get a little bit, you know, impatient. Align yourself. Find yourself on the damn thing. I mean, it doesn't even have like a timer here, so it's very depressing. I don't even know how long Nikita this is going to take. Nikita K donated 179 Russian rubles. Hello, I guess Russia we are guy. not flying today, right? Uh, well, we are, but this thing is not aligning. So we have two choices. We have two. We have. To, I think we have to make a poll about this. I mean, you know, we are the ones that fly the aeroplane. Um, what do we do? Should we just taxi off and not have a heading indicator or GPS or literally any navigation at all, or should we just go off, like right now? Like that would be possible as well. That's just a question of stuff. Uh, yeah. We, uh, that's like the normal thing, you know, in, in a jet plane. This is why it takes a bit of a while to start these things up. It's not really because of the, you know, the switches or anything. It's really about the aligning time of the inertial uh, reference system. Um, use time compression. Wait, can I do that? Can I just skip time here? So this is eight times the ground speed. Uh, I guess it just makes the flight faster, doesn't it? Doesn't really work here. I mean, we can try to play around here. Does this work? Checklist, pop-up panels. Uh... What does that even do? Forward pedestrian. What's that? Oh, okay. I didn't mean another the thing. I'm just, I'm just kind of learning what this thing actually can do. That's just crazy. So wait. Uh, seats. No. Pop up panels. This is one that we have. Study. Inertial navigation. Player prison donated two dollars and twenty seven cents. Usa 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 Ooh. Thank you for, for nothing here. Okay. Come on! Triple A, Triple A donated $4.99. Balls. I agree. So wait, I can, what I can do is actually I can turn this, uh, I can have this uh, thing do to thing that stuff. Uh, we can we can align the plane immediately. That's, that's what I'm trying to say, all right? You're about to do something very unrealistic and lame. Yes. Yes! That worked! We skipped some time! Yeah, that's like what we can do here in the plane. We can just skip the aligning time just to, you know, make this. What's up, Semi? Semi? Whatever. Uh, but yeah, um, so this is great. What we can do is cheat. That's something I can always recommend. So wait, let me just go ahead and uh, put the hand signals. Chalks out. 
Yeah, this is the hand movement for the chocks out, so the ground crew does that. If they haven't already been sucked into the jet engines of our aeroplane, beautiful. So yes, we are lame for skipping that, but let's not, not care. Like, we're in a private jet. Fuck off. Alright, let's go and get onto the runway. And, uh, just take off, it doesn't matter. You know what? That's not, you actually know what, you know, let's, let's have some manners. Let's actually not use the grass for taxiing onto the runway. Let's go ahead and taxi onto the runway like that. Come on. Properly. Good. Ooh. Ooh, there we go. Yes. You know what? I think we're actually kind of professionally flying this plane. That's like the thing that's just, that's amazing. Oh my God. Holy moly. I didn't know how much power I was giving in until I crashed into the literal forest. That hasn't really gone well. <clears throat> For FYI, I'm not playing flying planes like this in real life. I just literally started up a 650 without any checklist. Anyway, let's take off. Yes. Uh, nose wheel is acting a little bit weird. Let's hope that we don't die. Good! Let's maybe, you know, make it a little bit later into the uh, I mean, earlier in the day. There we go. Nice noon times. Good. Now, everything's good. 90 knots, 100 knots. This is crazy. 120. I'm worried a little bit about my FPS. They feel like they're lower than 30, which is never a good thing. We're at 28. Ah, uh, that's not perfect. Good. Take off. Landing gear is up. But yeah, because we have a stable thing, and let's, you know, put the landing, uh, the gear, the, the flaps up, and look at this it beautiful airplane. It donated $5. Seven. At last, movement. Yes. You know what? I already want to start off with a failure. I mean, what can we do? Like, some sort of stuff that are, that is so, that seems so insignificant, insignificant that I wouldn't even notice. Right? So what can I do? Uh, auto throttle system. Now that, that's the autopilot. No one cares about that. We're not even going to be flying with autopilot anyway. What's the point? Uh, electric. Uh, fire projection. Flight control. Left aileron cable is broken. My god, there's so much we can break here. This is perfect. I will use this plane now forever for videos. My god, so much content I can see. My god. Secondary. Flight spoilers, electricity, fuel hydraulics. My goodness, this is crazy. Lights. That is just absolutely amazing. I mean, there's so much we can do. Um, Player Prison donated $2.27. Snake 001. Absolutely stupid. Let's have a microburst. There we go, microburst. Oh, we're gaining in speed very much. There we go, we're losing a lot of it. Like the, the point where we're literally so fast and stop it with the S noises. Seriously. Ah, uh, but literally we're so fast that the microburst doesn't even bother us. So that's like the cool thing. Uh, let's maybe go back. I wanna, come on, I wanna, I wanna have more failures here. Microburst didn't do anything at all because we're just simply too fast. Uh, what can we do? Systems. Uh, I just wanna try, what can we try? Let me have like a, oh yeah. But, how do I do this? Uh, aircon. And I can have like a pressure, uh, leak. So cabin pressure leak, what does that do? Not really anything, does it? Because we're not very high in the sky, so... No, there's no point in putting on the oxygen mask, even though I would very much like to do this. Damn, we've got an oxygen mask! Holy moly, and it actually works! Alright, let's go maybe... I got this plane landed now. Richard Tankos um, donated two hello. pounds. Can you say hi to my friend Sean BTW? Keep it up. Hello, Sean. Very much appreciated. For your friend. By the way, can we take off the mask? I'm not very tired of it now. This is crazy, man, how we literally have an oxygen mask and how we're f super fast. Like, extremely ridiculously fast. How fast is that in, in Mach? We're literally Mach 0.7 here at 5,000 feet. We're literally about to reach the speed of barrier of, of b b b uh, b sound. That's what I'm trying to say. This is crazy, man. I don't I even know. This is like the, I'm, over, I'm almost overwhelmed with even the failures. I'm a failure. <laughs> Um, maybe something interesting. What can we do? Let's the have a Bacon fuel Channel leak. donated two pounds. Hello, Swiss. It's me, the Yuwu guy. Can you shout out? Yuwu? You? Hello, Yuwu? Is that whom you want me to shout out? 
good. Anyway, we've got a runway down here. I think it's Monda Yellow Airport here in the south of France. We're going to beautiful land our airplane down here. For that one, we have to, well, slow down quite a bit. All right, let's do this. Good. Let me do a landing. You know what? I haven't actually done a proper landing in this plane. Just I've noticed that. Let's put the landing gear down, get everything ready. I'm wondering. This per this. Oh, we are literally leaking fuel. And it does look like we're leaking fuel. It does look like, it looks like a normal United Airlines flight. Holy moly, that is so crazy. Look how we're literally leaking fuel and we can actually see that. Wait. Can we cut off the wings and it'll actually show it as we've cut off the wings? Just, I want to I just quickly clear all triggered. All right. I want to just quickly find that out. So. Wait, no way. No way it's going to display that as well. That would be crazy. Right, so, um... Good. Flight control. Primary? Ah, okay. We don't actually have the wing, do we? But we have, uh... Left aileron. Broken. Cable's broken. No, I want it just to be off. Flaps. Can I just have the flaps removed? Indication. Flap motor. Flap jammed. Okay, no. We can actually kind of have it fall off, though. So, no. Not on that one. Anyway, let's land, by the way. Hello, Mike. How's it going, Mike? Good. Let's maybe lose our speed and lose our mind. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I like this plane quite a bit. All right. We've got our Mount Ayo Airport down down here. Bit of a, you know, unstable approach right here, but this should work totally fine. This is a very fast plane. Uh, flight slats. Spoilers to deploy. I mean, all right. That's fine. We just want to go down. Down the road. This is perfect. You know what? This is this plane is just crazy, man. I mean, $120. You know, that's quite a bit for a plane like this. Um, I mean, it's a small private jet. What's up, George? How's it going, George? Do you like turtles? George donated um, 500 pounds. Donated one pound and 79 pence. Oh, Do that you name like almost turtles? got me. Um, no, I I I like straws more than than turtles. Anyway, let's get this overly expensive plane landed. Maybe with an overly butter landing as well. 180 knots. Things are looking good here. Good. Nice. Okay. We're a little very fast, honestly. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's go. Good. Now. Uh, uh, come on. Reverse thrust. It doesn't work. All right, Mike no reverse thrust. Underscore Heinen Airline PTFS official. Oh, what's up, Mike? Donated fifty dollars. Swiss do you oh support my God. Frankfurt football team? That's the thing about me, I don't really care about football. Am I the only one who just doesn't really care about the? I mean, at least the. Like, and I'm not talking, of course, any any about the the uh, like the football. I mean, I'm talking soccer here. Like soccer. I don't know. I like to watch him, but I do, I'm just not good in the in the dynamics or anything. I'm just a noob in it. But it's a great and enjoyable. I like watching it on TV. Like there's some, some some like magic about the atmosphere. You know what I mean? So yeah, and that's a good thing. I'm not. I'm you know. I don't really. I'm not really a fan of any football club, so I can never be disappointed by you know win a team losing. You know, I just all you know. All there's always a team that wins unless it's a draw, and so we can always celebrate. I think that's life, what it's life about, or something like that. Anyway, this has been a very nice landing here. Look at that. Ooh. That has been actually super nice to look at. Can we guys see this again? This is actually, I mean, just the landing gear animation. Um, I mean, I, I read something about how they, um, well, did the landing gear. It's been a lot of work, apparently. It's like they animated so many parts. It's just ridiculous. Look, look at that landing gear. I, I, I'm, I'm just kind of wondering right now, why is my computer not exploding here on this $120 airplane here? This is absolutely amazing. Look at this. Boom. By the way, how's it going, Mike? I'm just wanna, I just want to check in again. Have you, have I, have I uh, at least contacted you about the, the key patch, the thing? Have I? I think I have. You know, I'm, I'm, my, my memory is very bad, so Mike, I think I have. If I'm not mistaken, I hope it's still there, so I can, you can get the message. By the way, Mike, are you a moderator just yet? You're not a moderator, sorry. You now are. Player up, prison man? donated two dollars and twenty-seven cents. Danger snakes. 
I thought we were now with like professional donations on oh my god talking about ex exploding computer we're now at 20 FPS all right shut up Jesus Christ but we've got now 20 FPS like seriously very that is below 20 you know I'm that's like the problem is like I'm literally the first to complain when someone has low FPS and literally I'm the one who has them now um all right let's try to take off see if this works Oh, Kiwi Plane videos, um, you have to, uh oh, you have to, apparently you have to actually arm the, arm the, the, the reverse thrust for it to work, so it's like a very, that's like the thing about, I hate about Bombardier, I, I do like Bombardier normally, but I hate about Bombardier that, oh my god, that, uh, they had, that you have to arm the reverse thrust, my god, we're so fast, why are we so fast suddenly? Alright, let's take off, alright, now we're back with like somewhat normal frames per second, apparently, good. Yes. And what I really like here is that uh, that's just absolutely amazing how the headset display works. Something I do want to try out. We do not have touch screen here, of course. Right? We have to use this with our... Uh, how do we even use the screen? How do we How do we use the screen? How do we interact with it? Um, it's, a, it's not touch screen at all. Right? I, I do want to, like, change that. There's, like, a way to actually have um, stuff. Um, I just forgot what I was going to say. I'm confusion! This has been a very fast takeoff right here. All right, so nice. We're back flying after this very low frames per second phase. I want to go back into the cab and see what what's up here. I mean, something I do would like to like kind of try. <laughs> we have to like check out some more failures, dude. I mean, what, that's what the plane basically is for. Uh, hmm. Flight control. I mean, we got it. We can do some stuff here. Aileron term. Now let's go ahead and primary. Aileron cables broken. What's that gonna do? Just checking this out. All right left aileron cables are broken now So what is the left aileron? I just have to check this out Okay, welcome back on board the plane um, So aileron should be this one right here. Oh and I can see oh, I mean this one this is a flap, but this one it doesn't move But although it doesn't move we still have great control of this aeroplane actually great great roll control still I mean that's how it works. I mean, you know, with inverted motion. So when I when I when I when I turn the yoke uh, to the left, then the right aileron goes down, whereas the uh, left aileron would go up. Obviously, you know the inverted thing. You know, with the momentum, everything. Um, but yeah, no, we don't have that here now. Our cable is broken. That is so cool. Oh no, our cable, <laughs> it's broken. To finally put that here. Um, so what can we do? Left aileron cables. Oh, that would be fun. Let me let me just go ahead and put that to not trigger. Left aileron cables reversed. So what's that gonna do now? Wait, wait, wait. So I guess what what that is gonna do now is it's gonna. Ah! Look, that's like the thing about the uh, inversion. Inversion. It literally makes the aileron stop working. Look at that. Ah! Because it's you know it moves the same direction. So all it basically does is act. As a little bit of elevators, so it goes either up or down on both sides. Welcome back, to the turn one. Great. Anyway, we've got an airport here left to us, and that is, of course, Nice. Nice airport. It's a nice airport indeed. So let's go ahead and get back to the failures and just clear that one. I do want to try some more things. Uh, wait, environment. Good. Uh, bird strike. Bird strike triggered. Uh oh. No, we missed that. We missed our death. No, we missed the bird strike. Look at this. We've got a windshield that's broken. All right. Anyway, let's maybe try to come in for a landing. I like how this plane just, you can literally fly this plane like ridiculously, like dangerously and just, it won't even compa complain. What's up? Ooh, the Bacon cool. Channel. L. Oh my God. Mike, did I miss your donation? Can you go to Core? They have a very short runway. Dude, we're literally in the, in the south of France right now with a channel under 300, uh, 650. That's good. The problem is... The problem is um, that I don't uh, have Microsoft Flight Simulator. As in, I don't have global scenery. What's up, Mike? Finally, now the donations work again. I turned them off. Mike.c underscore Heinen Airline PTFS official donated $12. Okay, Dragos, this is for you. Subscribe to do Dragos 12. You rated his landing before. Okay. Okay, no, this has definitely been a bad idea.
Can we just fix the plane? Failures. Ah, clear, all triggered. That hasn't really worked. I mean, our windshield is now clean again. But, uh, wait, we actually can fly again, don't we? Good. So, welcome back on board our plane. We have fixed it. That's perfect. We're a little bit fast. Oh my god. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I do see where we're, where we're going here. Great professionalism. All right, let's go back to flying. Good. Now. Mm-hmm. What's that noise here? Woo, 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 woo. Okay. I see where this is going. Maybe we can, like, touch the airport of Nice. I, I, I've just noticed. We've only done, like, one proper landing with this plane. Oh. That, um... No, that actually kind of makes sense. I'll take that. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's stream. I have no idea what this has been. Uh, but this has been definitely has been great fun. Uh, and I'll see you guys next time around. We'll, we'll stream some more Microsoft Simulator as well soon. But this has been an amazing experience. Um, sadly, we couldn't end on a good note here. So that's great. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, say good night. What's up, Spice? Thank you.